Alright, today we're going to see how to set up a Minecraft bucket and a normal vanilla Minecraft server. So first, we're going to do the normal Minecraft vanilla server. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, first go to Minecraft.net. And once you're on Minecraft.net, you're going to see all this stuff. And you're going to see it download. So you click download, and this is the client. But you're going to want the server. Download it. Anywhere you want, and then drag it into the server. All you're gonna want to do is double click, double click it. It's gonna run it. <clears throat> it's gonna say failed a whole bunch of stuff in your first time because it's basically saying that there's no files there, so I'm gonna make the file. So and then spam your folder with a whole bunch of files, and the server is done. I have a video on how to port forward, which you're gonna need to do if you want this, or use Samachi. But if you want to port forward, the default port is this, so you're gonna have to open that port. But if you did make a different port forwarded, just change it to whatever port you want, and uh, then you're set. And once you do that, you change all the settings, and you're basically done. You could go play server, play it, and have fun. Thanks for watching. Next, we're going to do the bucket server. So what you're going to want to do, it's almost the same thing, but first you're going to want to go to bucket.org. And then right here, there's recommended builds. You're going to click the top one if it's not out for your current version. You're just going to have to Google, uh, say, Minecraft 1.3 bucket, craft bucket. And once you, uh, boom, you just Google it, you'll find it, and I'll link you in the description for a uh, website to download it. This is in the description if you have this. And then, uh, okay, so you're gonna wanna, once you've downloaded it, you're gonna have it in your folder. I'm just gonna use, let's just say this for now. Copy it. Alright. So, you're gonna have this, but do not double click it. That is not gonna work at all. You're gonna have to make a new text document to run it. And name it Run. And open that up. And then what you're gonna type in, I'll put the code in the description too. Just so you don't have to type this out. Sorry, I have it saved right here. So, you might have to change a few things depending on your computer specs. Like right here, JRE6. If you have JRE, a uh, different version of it, you may have to change it. And then also, you're gonna have to change this name if it doesn't work. Depending on what name you have it here, where it says Craft Bucket 1.2. If it says something else, you might have to change it here. So make sure these are the same. Doesn't matter what they're named. Once you're done, right click Save As, Run. Dot. Bat. Run. Dot. Bat. And do all files. Save. It should make another file right here. So when you run it, it opens up a bad file and starts making your file just like the other server. Except this one has plugins, and I'll make a video on how to install plugins in the future. So you're done. Now this server is the same thing, you're gonna have to port forward just like that or use Samachi. But once you do that, you 